What's up, family? Man, I know that I said we're going to start a series on um, how to live a balanced life and how to overcome or how to find our peace, joy, and happiness. Man, we're going to get to that series. I promise you that. Um, for whatever reason, I feel that, man, there's certain things that I have to talk about like now. You know what I mean? Um, and once I get the green light to make those, there's like three videos that I have to make in regards to that. We'll go ahead and tackle that situation or that topic. Man, I want to, man, have a real heart to heart today about, man, the price of being a chosen one. You know what I mean? There's so much hype on chosen ones, you know? Being a light worker or a star seed, a healer, you know? Man, there's so much hype on social media about these things. People don't really talk too much about the price. Of being one, you know what I mean? Because everybody ain't gonna be your friend. Everybody ain't gonna like you. You know what I mean? Everybody ain't gonna wanna fuck with you. You know, you gonna have a whole lot of people that gonna come against you because of the way you talk, or the, you know, the fact that you rock crystals, or whatever it is that you do. You know, um, people are freaking ignorant as fuck, and it it is what it is. This is a grown folk channel. If you don't like it, turn the shit off. I don't give two fucks about it. I don't. It ain't changing shit. You know what I mean? Your opinion ain't changing shit when it comes to me. You know, whether you like me, love me, hate me, despise me, shit don't matter. And as chosen ones, we like working. Man, we have to get to that place. You know what I mean? You have to get to that place. And you can only get to that place truthfully by doing your fucking shadow work, by doing the fucking hard work. You know what I mean? And, and what I mean by that, you got to deal with your fucking issues. You got to understand why you're looking for the affirmations and confirmations from everybody else. Why you need other people's validation. See, because if you don't ever deal with that shit of why you don't like yourself, and how come you feel like you're not enough? So you got to go out and do extra just to be, just for people to like you, for people that you don't want to fuck with you, or for people to think that you're good enough. If you feel that way about yourself, man, you're going to have a hard fucking life. And, 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 it, and the shit is real. It's hard. As a chosen one, ain't shit easy about this fucking life. Nothing. There's a whole lot of people that think they're part of the 144,000 because they believe in Jesus. There's a whole lot of motherfuckers running around talking about they're part of that 144,000 because they black. The color of your skin ain't got shit to do with you being a fucking chosen one. And I know that's going to piss some of you off. And again, I don't give two fucks about your opinion. We have to grow the fuck up. God didn't choose you because you're fucking black. The color of your soul ain't got a fucking color. Grow up. You had your purpose before you had your skin color. You had your purpose before you had your nationality. You had your purpose before you had your fucking ethnicity. Grow the fuck up. You had your purpose before you got indoctrinated in that bullshit ass fucking religion. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. You've got to deal with your fucking shit. You've got to understand that the people that's closest to you, the people that's following you, the people that's watching every fucking thing you do, the great majority of them don't like your fucking ass. The truth is, a great majority of them think they're better than you. A great majority of you trying to wonder why you do what you fucking do. Why you do it like that? And how come you don't do this? And how come you don't say it like this? And da -da -da -da. These motherfuckers always going to have something to say. Why? Because in reality, they think they're better than you. They're in fucking competition with you. They think they're prettier than you. They think they're smarter than you. They think they're deeper than you. They think they're more spiritual than you. They think they're more woke than you. They think they're more connected to God, the source of the universe, than you. Oh, I read tarot cards better than you. Oh, I do my charms better than you. Oh, I make my own deck of tarot cards. Therefore, I'm more spiritual than you. Oh, I know my, more about herbs and holistic living. And I'm more knowledgeable about this subject than you. Oh, I've been meditating long. 
I don't give two fucks about what you've been doing. That shit ain't got shit to do with me. That shit ain't got shit to do with any chosen one. See, the truth is, they see the anointing on your life. They see the calling on your life. And they're pissed because it ain't on theirs. And they don't understand why it's on yours. And so they're in competition with you. You don't know it because you ain't in competition with them. You see them as an ally. You see them as, oh, that's my cousin. Oh, that's my sister. Oh, that's my mom. That's my auntie. That's my uncle. Man, they love me. They always got my back. No, these motherfuckers don't. A lot of them are waiting for you to fuck up. A lot of them are praying that you fuck up. A lot of them are dropping seeds so the motherfuckers have stopped liking you and fucking with you. And you sitting there wondering if it's everybody else, but you won't look at your own fucking raggedy ass, trifling ass family. Because you keep putting it past them. Oh, they would never do me like that. Okay. It's always the people closest to you. Always. Understand that. As a chosen one, you're going to get betrayed. You're going to get dogged the fuck out by the people you wouldn't expect. Get over it. Yes, I know it hurts. I've gone through that this year. Get over it. As a chosen one, people are going to walk out of your life. Get over it. Get over it. And the only way to get over the shit is by growing through the shit. You have to understand why that hurts you so much. What was that lesson in that person walking out of your life? What was the lesson in that person betraying you? What was it you were supposed to learn? Not about them, but about you. You have to grow through whatever you go through. And if you don't grow through it, you're going to keep going through it. And you're going to stunt your own growth. Because you refuse to grow the fuck up. Because you refuse to do the real work, the hard work, the challenging work, the work in which you came here to do. See, don't get the shit twisted. Chosen ones and light workers and healers and beacons of hope and love and light. Man, we sometimes get shit twisted and think that we came here to shine. And that's our purpose is just to shine. No, motherfucker, you didn't come here just to stunt. You didn't come here just to flex. You came here to do the fucking work. And in the process of you doing the fucking work, the results of you doing the fucking work, you shine. In the process of you doing the fucking work, you become this, and the results of you doing the fucking work is you become a beacon of hope, a beacon of love, a beacon of light. You didn't come here just to be a beacon of light. You came here to do the fucking work. And the work is what fucking issues do I have? Why is it so hard for me to forgive people? How come I can't forget? And how come I can't forget this person for what they just did to me? The other day I was talking to someone and I was telling them about the um the young lady I just got out of a relationship back in March. And I was telling them that, man, you know, part of me, I I say I can forgive her with my mouth. Part of me still struggles with forgiving her. Part of me still struggle with that. I went through a situation with my best friend who betrayed me, betrayed my trust. I forgive him. And there was a process to be able to forgive him. But I forgive him a lot more than I forgive her. Truth be told. He and I ain't like we used to be. We ain't boys. 
and we won't ever be boys like that again. But I haven't even gotten to that point of being able to even be close to her or conversate with her for that matter. Forgiveness is a process and you're going to have to understand that. You're not going to just forgive somebody overnight when they hurt you deep. But you have to grow through that. You have to understand that. And you have to deal with that. Who is it that you haven't forgiven? Was it your dad? Is it your dad? Is it your mom? Are you mad that your dad wasn't there as much as you think he could have been or should have been? Are you mad at your mom because she wasn't as nurturing as you thought she should have been or could have been? Maybe your family wasn't as supportive to you financially, emotionally, and you struggle with that, and that hurts you. And so you've learned not to trust other people because early on you learned not to trust your family. You learned early on that, man, ain't nobody fucking with me, so I ain't fucking with nobody else. I'm a lone wolf in this bitch. Because that's trauma. That's unresolved trauma. See, the path of a chosen one, yeah, it's a lonely fucking road. The path of a light worker, of a healer, of a star seed. It's a lonely fucking road. And it's lonely because we have to do the fucking work. And so many of us, we stay in fucking toxic ass relationships because we don't really want to do the fucking work. And so we're constantly looking for the next boo. Because I'm tired of being alone. I'm tired of doing shadow work. I'm tired of diving deep into my subconscious thoughts and understanding my fears and insecurities. And da, 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 da. I'm tired of this shit. Motherfucker, you've been doing it two years? You've been doing it, what, three years? You've been doing it, what, five years? And you think you that now? We have to grow the fuck up. You ain't doing no shadow work. No diving deep into your subconscious thoughts and fears. In three to five years. And you've arrived. And you've done every fucking thing. See, a lot of you, you've only been on this path for a couple of years. Three years. Four years. And you think you all that, you think you've healed. And you ain't nowhere close to fucking being healed. You may have resolved some shit. But the funny thing about life, the ironic thing about life, the further you dive, the deeper you go, the more trauma you see, the more painful trauma you see. Why? Because it's a groaning way. You start off with the superficial shit. You start off with the easy shit. And see, a lot of us, we get that licked and we think, oh, I'm good now. I don't fix this, da 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 That was the easy shit. That was the superficial shit. You just graduated to the next level of deeper pain a deeper trauma. You got to grow the fuck up emotionally. You got to understand why you're here. It's weird because the great majority of people that talk to me, that reach out to me, they're looking for that boo. They're looking for their king, their queen. They're looking for love. And the truth is, I was too. I was too. I thought I had to be in a relationship 
to experience love. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. I thought that the only way that I can receive love was by being in a relationship with someone. And with source, God, the most high, had to show me was, no, you're not on the frequency of love. You talk about love. But you're not really on the frequency of love. See, your understanding of love is tainted. You don't really know what love is. See, when you get on the frequency of love, everything around you is love. You start seeing love all around you. See, we, we on this frequency, low vibrating frequency, really of being lonely. We say we're in frequency of love. And then we see people booed up around us. And we think that they're in love. And what that is doing is making us feel even more lonely. Because we see all these married couples, we see all these people hugged up and holding hands and kissing and doing what they do. They're posting all their pictures and they're taking matching fucking pajama pictures and all this other crazy shit people do. You know what I mean? And we think, oh, that's so cute, and I can't wait to get my boo so we could dress it like like that and go out dressing and matching uh, and all this other shit. And you know what I mean? Because we think that's love. That ain't got shit to do with fucking love at all. The truth is, you're fucking lonely. You're on the frequency of being lonely. Understand that. It's okay. I know we get tired of being alone. And so many of us say, well, I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. The truth is, if you really do the fucking work, you're fucking lonely. That's why you're so fucking desperate for a fucking mate. That's why you're so fucking thirsty for a mate. Because you're fucking lonely. See, the crazy thing about growing development is you got to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with yourself. Man, why am I so fucking desperate for a relationship? Man, why am I fucking crazy? Why do I wig the fuck out like I do? Why do I fucking snap and go left like I fucking do. Why do I always fuck shit up? Why do I always get a good thing and I end up fucking it up? Why do I believe and think that I don't deserve to be happy in a relationship? Why don't I think that I'm good enough? How come I ain't got no fucking joy. How come I don't have any fucking peace? How come the only way that I can find joy and peace is to fucking sit here and get fucking high or get drunk? And then I said, man, we got lit and man, we turned up and man, that was so much fun and whoop it through. No, the fuck it wasn't. You did this shit because you're running from your fucking issues. You did this shit because you're fucking lonely. You did this shit because you didn't want to deal with your fucking trauma. And getting drunk and getting high was your fucking escape. That was your way of avoiding doing the fucking work. And then you justify you getting fucking high. Just go ahead and acknowledge the fact that you're fucking in denial. It's just hard for us to tell the truth. It's hard for us to be honest with ourselves. The path of a chosen one ain't easy. 
It's hard as fuck. It's challenging as fuck. And so why you got all these people jealous of you, hating on you, in competition with you. And all you want to do is, man, I just want to live my fucking life. I'm tired. I ain't trying to compete with nobody. I ain't trying to see who can outdo who and who do. Man, I don't give two fucks about that shit. But it means the world to them. It means everything to them. To be in competition with you. To outdo you. To outshine you. We have to grow the fuck up. We have to grow up. We have to understand that, man, it's going to be a long process. It's a long fucking process. The question is, can you handle it? See, because everybody ain't built for this. Everybody ain't built for this journey. See, this ain't a 100-yard dash. This ain't the 200-yard dash. Where you could just take off flying right off the gate and boom, you there. This ain't that type of journey. You ain't sprinting through this bitch. And that the truth be told, it's going to be a whole bunch of times where you're not going to be able to run it at all. See, I, know, I remember that story in the Bible where Paul's talking about, man, running your race. Running your race. I'm going to tell you chosen one something. This is the type of journey you start out running. You fast as fuck. You strong as fuck. Oh, I got this. This ain't shit. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> and you keep going. And you keep going, and the longer you go, the slower you go, the weaker you go, you start going through some shit, some obstacles, some hurdles, some hindrances, some setbacks. You start getting cramps. Your feet start hurting. You get cotton mouth. And then you can't run no more. This is that type of journey where now, man, all you could do is walk. And then you keep walking and you get tired and more tired. More weak. And you can't walk no more. Now you're crawling. Now you're crawling. Thinking about, man, fuck this shit. It ain't worth it. I'm done. I, I can't go no more. I've done everything I can. I, I'm done. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. And you keep crawling. And you keep crawling. And you keep crawling. This is that type of fucking journey. Stop thinking that you're just going to run through this bitch and you're going to be out of this shit in a couple of years. Stop thinking that this shit is going to change for you over fucking night because I'm meditating and I'm sitting there on and I'm manifesting a breakthrough and I'm manifesting a million dollars and I'm manifesting my man and my boo, my king, because ain't none of that motherfucking shit coming until divine timing. Ain't none of that shit coming until you're motherfucking ready for it. See, so many of us, we get caught up in relationships, not even understanding that that relationship was a motherfucking distraction to set your ass back. Everything looked nice. He talked apart. She talked apart. She looked apart. Damn, she looked apart. And you got fucking caught up. And you got set back. Why? Because that was a distraction. 
That wasn't to help you on your fucking journey. That was to push your ass back. Why? So you can grow through that fucking situation. So you can understand, why did I fucking choose that person? What was it about me that put me on their frequency so that we could be attracted to each other? I'm a chosen one. I understand why they were attracted to me. But why the fuck was I attracted to them? See, that's part of the process of healing. is understanding why we were attracted to the people we were. Why we got caught up in the shit we did. This life ain't easy. It ain't easy at all. And so many, they see our shine, not understanding the hell we've gone through, not understanding the hurdles and obstacles that we've had to overcome along the way. Just to get to where we're at. Just to have the knowledge and the wisdom and the insight we have. And you have a lot of these motherfuckers that's gone on to college. And they graduated some fucking school. And now they think they're smarter than you. Now they think they're deeper and wiser than you. And you don't put in this work for over 20 fucking years. Some of us chosen ones have been on this path for over 30 fucking years. And it's funny, you get these little fucking 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 fucking year olds thinking that they're fucking deep. And you don't understand, and we don't understand them. <laughs> Man, I, I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. But it is what it is. It's part of their journey. Part of their humbling process that they're going to have to go through. It's part of that surrendering process that we all have to go through. When I was talking about starting off the race, where we all take off sprinting. It's a humbling process. See, now I can't run as fast as I used to. Now I got to walk because I'm tired. I can't even walk no more. Man, I'm fucking crawling. That's humbling. It's humbling. How is God trying to humble you? See, we don't want to be humbled. We want to fucking shine. How is God humbling you? How is God trying to get your attention? What is God using? Who is God using to get your attention? Because I promise you, he's going to get your attention. If he gets you through that man that you thought was all that, and he dogs you the fuck out. If it gets you to that woman, you look and you, damn, this motherfucker fine as wine. And she dog you the fuck out. And they break your heart and crush you and spit your ass out like you wasn't shit. God is going to get your attention. The question is, what is it going to cost you? What is it going to cost you? Before you finally surrender. Before you finally get to that place of, I'm done. I surrender. I don't know every fucking thing like I thought I did. He's going to get you to that breaking point. You're going to be broken. You're going to be fucking crushed. You're going to be fucking humiliated. You're going to be fucking betrayed. You're going to be lied on and cheated on. That's part of the fucking process of being a chosen one. 
It don't matter whether you like it. It don't matter whether you want it to happen or not. God ain't asking your fucking opinion. He ain't asking you or this ain't no fucking democracy or debate where you get to pick your fucking path. He's going to break you. He's going to crush you. And then he's going to lift you up so that you can shine for the world to see. But only once he gets you to that breaking point, that surrendering place, that place where God knows that, man, I can trust this one now. I could give them the keys to the universe because I could trust them. Because they've gone through the process. They've shown themselves reliable and trustworthy. I can trust them. I can trust them. Can God trust you? The truth is, the great majority of us, we don't even trust ourselves. But then we want everybody else to trust us. We think everybody else should trust us. but we know that we can't even be trusted by ourselves. We have to grow up. We have to do the work. You got to do the work. You have to be honest with yourself. Completely transparent. Because ain't shit you hiding from God. Source, universe, the most high. They see all, know all. Ain't hiding shit from them. You can't even hide your fucking thoughts. Understand that. Embrace that. Man. I hope and pray that I said something to encourage you, to challenge you, to inspire your way of thinking. We have to grow up. Namaste. Happy healing.